guys, Tech and HTC here, and today we are going to be doing another build battle. My name is Watson so far, so hopefully when I get my channel, which shouldn't be too long now, as I'm just trying to sort out my computer, it will be called 110% Gaming. Nice. How's that? Is that good? Is that good? Yep, that's good, that's good. So, yep, hello everyone, I'm Tech, this is another build battle, this time on another super flat world. Yep, it's with Bloxworth again. You people probably know him from the last build battles we did. If you haven't seen it, where you been? Come on, I thought you'd have seen it by now. Ah, anyways. This is basically where we have to do builds that have been listed on signs within a set time limit. Do this one! Do this one! Do this one! Yeah, why not? So, we are about to find out what today's build battle category is. In three. Into now. It's to do a survival house. It's actually to do a survival house. All right. This is going to be fun. Well, look at the survival house again. Look at the sign again. Hello. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it is a survival house challenge this time. And uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. I remember building a survival house on my world, but. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that or not. Yep, I'll try and see if I can find it, if you have. So, anyway, how build battles works is, as you see, a category is chosen, and then we yak for a bit for no apparent reason, and then mute microphones, and then we go on and build. So, anyway, I'm going to mute my microphone. What should we say for the time limit? Uh, I don't actually have time limit. Can we just do it until we're done? Nah, it has to be a timer, but you got to make it fun. I'm a bit challenging too. Do you have a timer? <laughs> uh, yep, okay, a 10 minute timer. In fact, I have my watch next to me, which has an alarm on which I can set. Okay, so let me know when to mute the microphones and time shall begin. Okay, so time has started. I've muted my microphone so Bloxworth can not hear me. In fact, I'll just check. Can you hear me? No response, that's good. So today we have a survival house to build. This is going to be fun. You have to take a lot of survival elements and put them into a house. Note just how that sounds, that sounds kind of obvious. However, you want it to have a bit of style as well. So I'm going to start off with 3x3 three three and we'll just see where we get to. Now, your first survival house, I usually put in a um, zombie proof door, which is a really old trick now. Which I've actually placed the wrong way. Well done, me. There we go. And I think, bring the house around a bit. And that, and I'm going to bring it over here too. So don't mind if I don't talk for the entire thing. There's probably going to be that one person that's like, You didn't talk for the entire thing. But, eh, sorry. So, for me, a good survival house, it's got to look good. It's also got to work, but it has to look good. So the main thing you find, basically, is glass and um, wood for the first sort of survival house. So I'm going for a sort of first ever house thing. That sounded like great English. Well done me. Award for the best English goes to me. <laughs> also so does the award for the worst English apparently. If my first ever house looked like this, I'd be very happy. Let's just say that.
Let's see, how does this look, do we think? Ah, that doesn't actually look too bad. Alright. We're going to need some torches too, and then, of course, all the usual survival -y stuff. Apologies if, it, if it's a bit loud. Sorry about that. I didn't... don't really know. The crafting table in the floor is usually a good technique. And, of course, you want to have a double chest. And some furnaces. And then some more chests, because storage is everything for these houses. Put a few torches down. Let's go see what else we need. Ender chest as well. Brewing stand. Enchantment tables. The ender chest I reckon can go on the floor along with the brewing stand. The enchantment table too, that can go on the floor as well. It doesn't have to necessarily look good. It would be nice because looks are something. So I'm going to add a little bit of decoration to the outside. I got stuck in a door there. If you want to have a go at build battles yourself, I suggest you do. It's actually quite good fun. If you have a friend who likes to build and likes battles, I don't really know. I find stone works wonders for this sort of build. I also think we should add a little chimney to the top because, well, it, it's a little house. Why not? There we go. I've actually got mine done pretty fast, so I'm, I'm actually quite a fast builder. Let's see, does it need anything else? I think a few overhangs as well. I'm probably going to do most of this on camera now. So if you remember last episode, if you've seen it, it was um, actually... Uh, what's the word? It was actually mostly time lapses. There we go, I couldn't think of it. I couldn't English for a second. I'm actually on uh, Mr. Bloxworth's world. He is hosting it for me. And a couple of wooden buttons. I know they won't do much to the door. I know, I know they don't do much to the door, but they're pretty good for detail. So I really need to turn down game sound. Even then, I turn down game sound, and it's still so loud. But I think that's pretty good for a small survival house. Obviously, you can get survival houses that are smaller than this. But honestly, I think this is quite good. Yeah, I like it. You need, uh, you probably need a few farms as well. Oh, that is a birch fence, by the way. Let me need to make a way to get to this. And another zombie proof door. Then we need to get some water. Of course, every survival house needs to have a good farm. There you go. And that's a small little farm. Good little farm like that. Yeah, you know, for looks, I'm going to add some polished anti That's actually quite common now in game. Like really common. Also, another good thing. 
is putting torches on the edges of the fences. Not only is it good for detail, it's also good for protection against mobs. I know Mr. Blocksworth over there. I think we, it's safe to call him Eden at the moment. I think um, Eden over there is going for the technique of an underground house, as well. I'm going more sort of overground for mine. Uh, yeah, I quite like it. Oh, we've only got a few minutes left to build. I yes, I am playing this on Xbox 360. Just a little, uh, little heads up about that. In fact, this place is still the right way. You all know about the zombie-proof door thing. So here we are. A house that is actually quite simple to make. A very, very nice little survival house. I do like it. If I ever start off a um, survival let's play, I'll probably make a house like this to start off with. So to be honest, I quite like it. You know what, we could probably make an underground survival bit too. Right, underground storage room. That's the thing it needs. It's the basic, like basic, basic sort of survival little place, but actually it's really nice. It's loud in places, I know. Probably comes out even louder on the video. Sorry if it does. That I can't really help. There's something for stones going past my house. There we go, that is time up. Let's go and say hello. Hello! Hello there. Can you hear me? Hi. Hi, time is up, time is up. Please step away from your builds. That's actually been pretty fun. We're probably going to have to rush a little bit of this. Actually, no. We're not. But... Here is my little survival house, everybody. So. Really? Oh, and then you didn't hear any physical or noise of explosion at all. Actually, no, I didn't. So. I saw you working underground a little bit. Anyway, shall we? Are we not doing the burn this bit? Are we not doing that? Yeah, but we'll interview your school. Yeah. Uh, the other point of steel. Go! Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep an eye on mine because it's made mostly of wood. Um. <laughs> it's already burning away some of the wool. Yeah, I'm going for the sort of look of a small survival house. Like for someone that's just starting off. small underground storage room. I didn't have as much time as I thought I did. Go. 
I've gone for sort of a first house look. Okay, let's have a look. Well, I didn't get to finish the roof. Okay, can I just add a little roof on? It's alright, time's up. Can't build any more. I haven't built any more on mine. Okay, you've done underground work. Okay. That's why I've got to look around the back. You can see part of where the explosion was. Oh, jeez! <laughs> ah! Yeah, it does look nice. It does look nice. It does look really nice. I like it. Right. So you've gone for the right, modern um, look. I've gone for the old traditional style look. So, yeah. it's now up to you, well done. the people in the comments, yep. to see who Actually, won. Actually, do, do vote this time. Don't watch the thing I'm voting then. Last time we did it, we got absolutely no vote, and it was only like yeah. weeks ago. Yes. We have like literally no comments whatsoever. We don't have any comments as to who won. We, we, we did. To. We'll put the links of the videos down in the description, just down below the video again. And uh, like I did last time, someone please, if you watch the video, decide which one you like. Please let us know before going. That would be brilliant. Thank you. Hello. Yes, yes, I do all that. Right. Okay, so here is my build. I've gone for the traditional first house look, using some of the most common materials that you find when you just start off. And let's go have a look inside. It's quite small. I've managed to compact a lot into one space. Hello. <laughs> I've managed to compact a lot into one space. Including as many crafting tables and furnaces as you could probably ever need. Again, with the small little um, bit out over here. I don't know one of those has grown since the episode started. And then underground, a small little storage area as well. So, if you like this build, put a vote tech in the comments. Oh, come inside. Broken. It's just broken. No. <laughs> yeah, that one's just put there for looks. I got stuck in a door. Okay, so that is my build. Put vote tech in the comments if you like this one. And now, let's move on to the other one. And go. Talk about yours. Okay, so if you enjoyed this episode of Build Battles, please be sure to leave a like. And if you're new here, subscribe. I have some brilliant content that I've got plans coming up soon. Also, we are so close to that 100 subscriber mark now. That would honestly make my day. And uh, have a look at this guy on XBL. I'm fun. So, anyway, if you all enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and if you want to, subscribe for more great content. And until my next video, thank you for watching, and goodbye.
You don't know. That's not my YouTube channel. Don't search it up. You don't know what could come up, children. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't got a channel yet. Anyway! Anyway, yeah, anyways. I am back with Mr. Bloxworth, who has just run off. Come back. I am back with a certain Mr. Bloxworth 05. Oh, for a... Ow, my throat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah. Oh. Again. This is going to be like a fourth take. <laughs>